Hello, welcome to the Service Monster Quick Start Guide. In this three-part video series, we will cover how to create an order, schedule an appointment, and create an invoice. First, let's create an order. Let's say you've just spoken with a client and you're ready to create a new order. Creating a new order is something you can do from a few different places within Service Monster. From the home page, you can select the plus order button. And from orders within order list, you can also select the plus order button. From accounts within account list, you can select any account and click on the new order button. Finally, you can also create a new order from the quick add. The quick add is available from any page within Service Monster by clicking on the blue plus button at the top of the screen. Go ahead and open up the quick add. First, start typing in the name of the account and select the account you want from the matches that pop up. If this order is for a brand new account, fill in all the fields to create the new account. Next, move down to the Order tab and select which type of order you want to create. You can select from an estimate, work order, or invoice. Next, you can add in your line items, a package, a promotion, and a lead source. Once finished, simply click Save and Close, and your order is created. If you're also ready to schedule an appointment for the order, move down to the Appointment tab. Great job, you've just created your first order. Go ahead and view your new order under orders within the order list. Next, let's schedule an appointment. Scheduling a new appointment is something you can do from a few different places within Service Monster. From orders within order list, you can select any order and click on the schedule button. This will add an appointment card to the on deck box so you can simply drag and drop the appointment onto the schedule. From the schedule itself, you can always create a new appointment by clicking directly on the schedule, where and when you want the appointment to be. This will open the quick add, where all you have left to do is add in the account and order information. And of course, you could also just use the quick add to schedule a new appointment. Remember, the quick ad is available from any page within Service Monster by clicking on the blue plus button at the top of the screen. Go ahead and open up the quick ad. First, start typing in the name of the account and select the account you want from the matches that pop up. If this appointment is for a brand new account, fill in all the fields to create the new account. Next, you can skip down to the Appointment tab, or use the Order tab to select the new order type, or search for an existing order, and add in all the order details. In the Appointment tab, simply click anywhere on the schedule to add your appointment. The New Appointment box will appear on the right, where you can add in and adjust all the appointment details and add technician notes or admin notes. Once finished, simply click Save and Close and your appointment is scheduled. Great job, you've just scheduled your first appointment. Go ahead and view your new appointment under Scheduling within the schedule. Finally, let's create an invoice to complete an order. Completing an order is something you can do from a few different places within Service Monster. First, you can access the completion wizard on the mobile app by clicking on an appointment on the schedule or from the home page. Click on the complete button on the right and follow the steps of the completion wizard. Please note, the completion wizard on the mobile app is designed more for technicians and cannot update appointments or assign commissions. 
but it can collect an electronic signature. From Service Monster Desktop, go to Orders, and within Order List, you can select any order and click on the green Complete button to open up the completion wizard. From the schedule itself, click on an appointment, and in the sidebar, you will see all the appointment details. Click on the Completion Wizard button to open the Completion Wizard. Now, from the Completion Wizard window, you first want to make any final edits to the order, then click Save as Invoice to turn the order into an invoice. Then hit OK, and the invoice will turn red to indicate this is the final step and you can no longer make edits. Next, move down to the Apply Payments tab. If you have a connection set up with Authorize.net or Stripe, you can run any credit cards here in the system. Otherwise, you can collect your payment however you usually would. Select your payment type from the dropdown or add your own options. You can also add a reference number or a memo and adjust the total amount due. When you click Save Payment, the payment will be applied. Under the Update Appointments tab, you can add and adjust the time logs for your team. These time logs are created when your team members check in and check out of appointments from the Service Monster mobile app. After completing the adjustments you want, click Save Appointments. Under the Assign Commissions tab, you can edit, create, or delete commissions for your team members. Under the Email Invoice tab, we have a PDF invoice attachment ready to be emailed. Click on Load Template and select the email template you want to use and add any additional attachments. Click Send when you're ready, then Done in the lower right to close the window. Great job, your order is now complete. The invoice will now be marked as paid and you can no longer void the order because a payment has been processed. To print your invoice, simply select your print style from the dropdown and then click the print button. A window will open where you can preview and then hit the print button. If you need to go back to fix a mistake, simply turn the invoice back into a work order Fix the mistake and repeat the completion wizard process. From the order list, the green dot also indicates that the invoice is paid. I hope this quick start guide has been helpful. Please check out our help site for more information and don't hesitate to contact our friendly support team if you have any further questions. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.